the BTEC Award in Enterprise. So component one, learning aim A, we're still on what is an enterprise now. Enterprises need to attract and keep customers happy, and they can often face difficulties in capturing and retaining customers. Now, what we're going to look at is, first of all, capturing customers. So if we are in a market with lots of competitors, the only way you can capture, get a new customer is by taking it away from a competitor, which is really, really difficult. If we're in a growth market, so more and more people are buying this product, it's much easier because people will come to your business. So what we're going to look at is the methods we could use. First of all, pretty straightforward, we're going to advertise, oh, look at my lovely product, it's new, oh, and then they might buy it. We could run competitions to tempt people to buy it or get people interested in it. We can get a celebrity, so Kim Kardashian uses this, of course we all want to buy it. We could do a special offer, so I walk into a shop, I could buy my normal product or there's one on a special offer, I'll go for my special offer. A friend could say, oh, have you heard about this new product? And then I would go and buy it. And it's quite a lot of businesses use, if you recommend a friend to the business, then they will give the person who recommended it a discount. And giving out free samples. So if you have a free can of Coke Zero and you're in the street, you might then go and try it, buy it uh, later on. So these are lots of different ways that we can capture customers. Having a really good location will capture customers. If you put your business somewhere where there's lots of people, you are going to attract new customers. And to be fair, there's loads and loads and loads of way of attracting new customers. You need to suit your decision to who your customers are. So difficulty, depending on which study you believe and what industry you're in. So we could be looking at, I don't know, cars or makeup or stuff like that. Acquiring a new customer is anywhere from five to 25 times more expensive than retaining or keeping an existing one. It makes sense because you don't have to spend your time and resources going to find a new client. You just keep have to keep the one that you want to have happy. Now, sounds really easy. Thank you, Harvard Business Review. But actually, it isn't. So now, retaining customers is keeping the customers that you already have. This is brilliant. We've already seen that it's much cheaper to do this than to attract new ones because they already know your product and obviously they might like your product. So what could we use to get to keep our customers coming back? First of all, loyalty cards. So I have a Tesco's club card. It means I'm quite likely to go to Tesco's as a repeat because I want to get the points so I can have various things. I have a loyalty card for um, Costa. So I would tend to select Costa rather than select um, Starbucks because I'll get my points and my free coffee. It just keeps us coming back by giving us a relatively small reward. Great customer service. This is so key in retaining customers. If you go into a shop, or a business and they give you great customer service, they give you exactly what you need, they don't hassle you, they're fabulous, you're going to go back. I use Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime is I order it, it comes the next day, absolutely fabulous. If I want to return something, it's really straightforward. I print off a label, I send it back for free, they give me my money back really, care, really quickly. I am very happy with the customer service from Amazon Prime. Um, if you get bad customer service, Oh my God, you're not going to use that business, are you? If someone's rude to in, into a shop or I bought some furniture and the chair broke and then they said I couldn't have my money back because I had, I'd had it for 18 months. Very bad customer service. They have not retained me. Now, recommended products. Amazon, as I said earlier, often will email me and say, Oi, Miss Squires, you've bought this before. Would you like to buy this? It's similar. Or a clothes one might say, oh, look at our new stock. Then I'm becoming a repeat customer. Discounts. I love a discount. So if a business says, oh, Miss Squires, you have been... Um, shopping here, Wild Bell Garden Centre, they send me tokens, which means I'm much more likely to be retained as a customer. So giving your existing customers discounts gets them to repeat. A continuous direct debit. Now, this is fabulous. 
Netflix. You have your first month free, then they take a direct debit, you put your card into it, it takes your $7.99 every single month. So they are retaining us as customers without us having to do anything, it's fabulous. If we had to go on into Netflix and put our card in it every single month to pay for it, we probably wouldn't actively do it and they would have a lot less repeat customers. So continuous direct debits is the absolutely holy grail of repeat customers. Obviously quite a lot of businesses you can't do that for. I wouldn't let um, Starbucks have a continuous direct debit on me, but for lots of businesses it works really well. Retaining your customers, you need to use the methods that are appropriate for your business.